Hello everybody and welcome back. Um, I had a redo of this video as my camera did die so I just thought I'd redo everything. Um, the only difference is I have one set unopened and I have a set open so this video might be a little quicker. We are today looking at our first Hot Wheels video in quite a while. We are looking at the Retro Entertainment B case for this year and in it come five of the wonderful Halo cars that everybody has come to know and love. The UNSC Warthog, the UNSC Gun Goose, the UNSC Scorpion, the Covenant Ghost, and the Banished Wraith. Unfortunately when I bought this case it was sealed but I did get four of these and none of these so I had to purchase a singular one of these so I only have an open one of these and I had three extras of these so it was kind of crazy but you know you can't ever have enough of the warthog so of course I'm not going to show you any of them I can show you in the box first and then show you them individually so that's a warthog in the box and here is a warthog outside of the box very good detail rubber tires fully metal the wonderful thing about Hot Wheels and Mattel is they do a really good job when you're paying five, six dollars for a car. Because nowadays you don't really get a lot of metal cars. You definitely don't get rubber tire cars. Next up, we're going to look at the UNSC Scorpion. And that is right here. Um, this one isn't too hard. They really just had to make a mold of a tank and put a little bit of paint on it. There wasn't a lot of detail as with the Warthog. But as in anything Halo, you don't really have to put a lot of detail. You just put these nice little emblems and do a little bit of ridges and things and make it look futuristic. And basically you have your Halo Hot Wheels. So, next up is a colorful one for sure, and that is the Banished Wraith. Looks more like the Spectro Flame paint that they have done on their Super Treasure Hunts and other Hot Wheels in the past. I'm really hoping to be able to get the C case here pretty soon. I'm going to have to contact my seller because it has Guardians of the Galaxy 2 the Milan ship which I love Guardians of the Galaxy altogether but man to get a Hot Wheels version of the ship sounds pretty sweet okay next up we're gonna have the Covenant Ghost it is also a really nice Oh, <laughs> let's knock over the camera why won't we Oh, sorry guys. It's going to be a little closer up view because the camera doesn't want to uh, stay. There we go. Here is our Covenant Ghost. In all of its beauty. It's really nice. I mean, you can't see the fineness of the paint until you have it in hand. I mean, honestly, I don't know if, like, this in general is really small. It it does have a lot of detail, but I don't know if this would be worth even $5, in my opinion, with the amount of metal and stuff you get. Sure, the name is really what you're buying when it comes to retro entertainment. And last but not least, I do not have a boxed version of this, as I said. So here is the Gun Goose. The wonderful little motorbike with guns on the front that everybody loves to use when they don't want to ride with a friend. Even though I think two people could get on this. And honestly, this is another thing too. It's like this one, really, you know, you got metal with, with plastic inserts for the guns and things. Um, this looks more like maybe $3 car. Kind of like the, you know, the ghost. You really don't want to something that I always steal and kicks butt especially in multiplayer 
So there you have it guys. Basically if you're looking to pick these up, they retail about, uh, usually depending on the store you get, Walmart usually has $4.99, $5.99, sometimes they're $3.99. It really just depends on the franchise and how long the cars have been out. Um, I think I paid, I think I paid like $3 for each of these, but then again I bought them in a case where you get two, two of each set generally, even though I got four of that one. But basically, if you you know, it depends on how many you want. If you want two full sets, um, go right ahead. Um, usually, um, the retro entertainment cases, you usually get two of each, and then because um, this one only had ten, but some of them come with twelve, and you get two extras that randomly. Like there was a, if you search back in the videos, I did one where we had a DeLorean and all that, and I got two extra DeLorean in that, and not a problem. Love the DeLorean. Love Back to the Future. Just love the franchises they come up with and the detail they put in them. I really like getting the old Corvettes and things because those are some cool cars. And like they said, these are basically mini masterpieces. They do put a lot of detail. I know sometimes it takes a long time to find these in your store. They do have a lot of backlog when it comes to stuff like this. But honestly, um, in my opinion, because it's metal on metal, if you look at the front, they do say right here metal on metal real riders and basically you'll see multiples if you go in your store if you go into Walmart or Target you'll see multiple different um, basically they'll just have scattered around you'll have Halo ones and a bunch of different other programs or movies I call them programs right movies and other franchises that you can collect and honestly there are a lot of good ones out there but you gotta be careful you gotta be really quick because sometimes the really hot castings that sell for a lot more like some of these halos the people may have bought all of them out just to try to resell them but uh, if you guys want to see more of the retro entertainment case are you really just interested in the basic assortment I do want to get back into that I'm gonna get an international box here probably end of April early May I cannot promise anything this video should go out about the 12th or 13th of April so and today is about the 7th so you know a couple days from now um, and I'm not really sure there's a lot of Pokemon stuff coming out and I do want to do a little bit of everything but the problem is it's hard to find someone to give you a good deal on the 72 kind of assortment I don't want to pay two three dollars a car when you can go to the store and buy them at a dollar a car so I really gotta find a good place to get them basically every month and be able to show you guys all the awesome cars and of course collect them myself duh so thanks for watching guys please like comment and subscribe if you have an interest in anything diecast or anything Pokemon or collectible related in general, please put it in the comments. I am happy to review or look into some other fandoms of everyone's because here, I'm, honestly, outside of, outside of collecting for myself, I'm here for you guys to show you what you can get, the things, the detail, so you know whether you're buying something that you want or you're not really sure about. We're here to help you with all of that. Also, don't hesitate to go onto my channel page, look at some of my featured channels. I've got other friends and people that I've met on here that do Pokemon, that do unboxings, that do collectibles, and they may review things that I do not. Um, please give them a, a look-see and see what they got going on. And, uh, you know, obviously don't hesitate to compare because sometimes people have different uh, information and aspects on everything. Thank you for watching, guys. This guy's getting to a 10 minute video here. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And have a wonderful rest of your day.